Today's lesson is multiplication of matrices. I am Karima Mundell Thomas. And I am Tamika Lodge Fenton. So Tamika, we're looking at yes. multiplication of matrices. And I think that, you know, this is a quite interesting topic, but also one that sometimes tends to be problematic for our students. So I'm happy that we're given the chance to explore this today. So in our session today, we're going to be looking at how to use matrices to represent real life situations. We're going to learn how to multiply matrices, use the order of matrices to test their compatibility for multiplication. And of course, we will be able to identify the two by two identity matrix for multiplication. But first, let's recall a few things. Most definitely. So what is a matrix? A matrix is simply a set of numbers or terms arranged in a rectangular array. Matrices are used to solve problems in electronics, robotics, linear programming, intersection of planes, and genetics. The order or dimension of a matrix is given as the number of rows by the number of columns. So we have number of rows by number of columns. And we would have done something like that before. We would. Yes, we would, we would. So let's look at this di the diagram we have there. Mm -hmm. We have matrix A, and as you can see by the arrows and the annotation, it has two rows, three columns. And we want to remind our students that the rows are horizontal, horizontal. right? And our columns are vertical. vertical. Very important, especially as we go into this particular topic. All right, so we can say that the order or dimension of matrix A is, is a two by three. That's right. So Tamika, can you state the location of the element six in matrix A? Well, now that I know that the matrix has rows and columns, mm -hmm. six is in the first row. Okay. And it is in the third column. Ah, you sound like, you sound like a brilliant student. So the element six is located in row one. Column and three. Column three. So let's get into today's lesson. So Tamika, uh -huh. you're organizing a netball championship. Yep. Right? I'm on top of this. That's right. So you're not a coach, no, you know, you're an organizer. That's right. Cool. In your championship, three points are awarded for each win, one point for each draw, mm -hmm. and zero point for each loss. Look at that. Now, the table is showing the results for matches that were played by four teams. So we have here Team J, K, Team K, Team L, and M. And M. And mm -hmm. we can see from the table how many wins. So if we look at Team J, they won four matches. Right. Yeah. They, they, they had a draw for two of their games. Right. And they lost two. And we can follow again and Team see. K. Five, five wins. wins. Two draws. One, one loss. loss. And of course, L. Team L. The Never one. so good in the winning. Yeah, not so good. But they kind of make up a little. They yeah. draw four. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they lost three, three matches. No, M having a rough time. Them no win, no not, wins. Not oh. So they, they lost two matches. No, yes, they yes, lost, they lost two, two matches. Two and Sorry, draw and I missed six. And they drew six right. matches. So the question is, how many points does each team earn? So at this point, we're checking to see. Because you know, when we have championship, we want to decide which team moves on to the next round, and we need to check the points. Right, yes? right. So how could we find out how many points each of these teams earned? So. Well, you did tell us that if you win, you get three points, mm -hmm. draw one point, and if you lose, zero point, which is understandable. Yes. So yeah. let's figure out how many, how many points would Team J, K, L, and M gain after all these matches? Well, let's check. Well, we, we see here that Team J won three matches. Well, four. Four. Right. Can you believe I pointed at four and I said saw. three? I oh, saw. My it happens. No. <laughs> so, so Team J won four, four. matches and they are going to be getting three, three points, points for like, every match that they win. That sounds like 12 points to me. That's right. All right. So they would have had a draw for two of their matches. Mm -hmm. And they get one point for every draw match. So that sounds like two more points. That sounds right. On the so that's 12, that 12 and two that we reach 14 so far. Let's check. And they get zero for losing. So. And we know zero times two is zero. Exactly. Uh, poor so, thing. 
So they J had 14 is at points. 14 points. All right, makes sense. So let's look at K. So K would have won five matches. Right. So it's five. And we're using the for points. For three. So the three points for each of the matches. So that, that would be. All right. 15 there. Right. One point. They drew, they drew two matches. Mm -hmm. So that would be two more points. So that's 17 points in total. That's right. Okay, L. Let's check L. They won only one match, yep. giving them three points. Mm -hmm. They drew four. Four gives right. them four. So one times four, four gives them four. Exactly. And, and no, points no points for, for losing. losing. So they so have seven points. Seven points in total. Beautiful. M. Hmm. Well, they won nothing, so that's yeah. zero there. Yes. They drew six of their matches and one point for each. Six, so it's one times six is six. So... Six, Six points. points. it is. Ah, K so, is, K is top in this competition, man. Yes, looking at it, K is at the top of, of, of this table. Yes. That's what they say in these matches, though, at the top of the table. Top of the table. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so, this, this, but, but you know, Tam, this, this... Does this look like anything we would normally do in, yeah, in, 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 something in, in, in our it, math classes? Yes, yeah, something in it is just kind of, clicking in my head. Yeah, man, like, it resembles something that we do in math. Wait, name I again. wonder if the students are seeing it. I wonder. Ah, they should, because we gave them some hint when we started That's the topic. That's right, we did, we did, we, <laughs> right. did, we did, we did, we did. So we're looking at matrices, and we this are. does resemble matrices. It does. You see that rectangular array of numbers? Yes. You know, I'm wondering if we could actually put this information, it's in a table now. So we're going to put it in a way that you're more familiar with. Yeah. When you look at this, you will see a more familiar representation. That's right. Okay, so let's check. So we can represent the match points for winning, drawing, and losing in a matrix. Most definitely. All right, so let's see what that matrix looks like. So we have three, one, zero. So this looks like it's a one by, by three, three column. All right, so we have a one by three. Let's look at the next one. We can also represent the match results in a matrix. Most Let's see what that matrix looks like. So row, remember the rows are horizontal. That's right. So we have one, two, three rows, and the columns are vertical. We have one, two, three, four columns. Right. So that's a three by four. And here we have the matrix representing the results from the matches for, for J, K, L, and, and M. M. And we're seeing here that it is a three by, by four, four matrix. matrix. And we're at this point now gonna see how could we multiply these matrices? So we have matrix A, we have matrix B, and we're gonna be multiplying. Now, if my memory serves me right, I think when I was learning this in high school, many moons ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's not go there. Um, it was row by column, column. Let's row see. by column. So row in the first matrix multiplied by the column, column in, the in the second, second matrix. matrix all right so let's see if we can help our students here tama okay so again the reminder is popping up remember it is a rows in the first matrix multiplied, multiplied by the columns in, in the, the second, second matrix. matrix so let's so i'm seeing here three multiplied by the four multiplied by four so the first term in my row here, right. multiplying the first term in, in my column. column. Beautiful. And three fours? Twelve. Twelve. All right. Then we move on. One here now is multiplying by the second term in the same column. All right. So we're looking at second term in this row, yes. which is row one, because we don't have any other row anyway. Exactly. So in row one, the second term is now multiplying the second term in, in column, column one. one. All right. And that would give us two. two. And then zero is now multiplying by two. the two. Which so gives I have us the third term, term multiplied by the in the row, right. multiplying the third term in the first column. In the first column. Beautiful. All right. So I think our students can now follow us. Right. As so we, we can just pretty much go through. All right. So it's three, so it's three times, times five. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. All right, follow us now, two. don't get lost. One times two, two. Two. And of course, zero times one. Zero. Zero. All right. Three times one, three. One times four, four. Zero times three, 
0. And that's pretty much the same thing that we're doing. So if we notice we're using this one row multiply to multiply every single column. column. So we're doing each column, all right? So we are now at our final column now. So 3 will multiply 0. 1 will multiply 6, six which gives us 6. And 0 multiplied and 2. That's correct. And that will give us 0. zero. All right, and so we can basically now add up the, or add these values, right? And uh, we have our resulting matrix, which has 14, 17, 7, seven and six. 6. And these numbers sound familiar, right? Because if we remember the table that we're looking at, yes, J would have gotten 14 points. JK, K would have gotten 17 points because right. they were on top of the board. Yes. Seven would have gotten seven points. L. L. Ooh, seven would have, would have gotten, gotten seven, seven points. <laughs> would have gotten L seven points. And M got the least and they got six, six points. points. But you know, I want to point out something here because one of the things that I think, you know, our students struggle sometimes with is where do we put the values that they get from multiplying yes so where where do they put these values and so you know it is so important that we look at the location of the the the, the, the results of the results yes right. so, so i'm going to take it back from here if we notice when we're looking at row one mm -hmm. so we'd have used the elements in row one right and we would have used them to multiply the elements in, in column one column one notice the results is row, row one, one column, column one. one so all those results have to go where column here one, the position. so students who are having any issues with you know where to put your answers this can be a guide to you as to what to do so let's look at the second one so we have still row one i know we're looking at column two beautiful and, and the results, those res go results go in row one column, column two. two and we pretty much follow Right. that same trend all right we will get to explore this a little bit more when we go further in to the lesson so just a quick reminder i would have said it but i know that there are persons who are visual and so they need to see it written right. it says notice the location of the row being used from the first matrix and the location of the column being used in the second matrix determine the location of the result. So if row one is multiplying column one, the result will be in row one. Column one. Column one. Now, let's take a look at the order dimension of these matrix matrices. All right, so let's take a look. So these were the matrices that we were multiplying earlier. Right. And, and that was the result. result. So like, we would have made mention from before that the our first, first matrix. matrix is a one by three, three matrix. Right. And our second matrix is a three by four three matrix. By four. And the resulting matrix is a. Mm, it looks like one by four matrix. Hmm. I wonder if there is a connection with, with the this two one. matrix matrices we used to multiply. With the, and the, the order result. of the results. Mm. I wonder if there's a connection between this that one, one that and four. this four. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, as mathematicians, we don't take one thing no, we have to go and make a rule. We'll talk about the times so and see we'll have what to happens. test it a little bit more. But something interesting to note. So, hmm. what would have happened if we inter interchanged the position of the matrices being multiplied? Very important question. What do you think would happen, Karima? Hmm. Boy, right. Tom, this one looked like it out of bowl. So we over. had the one by three first. Yes. And then we had the, what is that? The three, the three by, by four, four after. after. So, so, so now mm. we're well, looking at three BA. by four. Yes. Right. Multiplied by the one by so three. So multiplying. So we're, we're changing the positions of, of the, the matrix. matrix. And so now B becomes the multiplier mm -hmm. and A is the multiplicand. Multi there you so go. So we want to see what would happen. Now, All right. based on what we would have said, we can probably try to explore it a little bit on the All board. Right, so you, okay, go ahead. So we have 4510, four, all right, so this is our B. Mm -hmm. Three, one, zero. All right, you All had right. said something. You had said that we're multiplying the rows 
in the first, first matrix, matrix, right? And we're using it to multiply the, the columns, columns all right. in the second matrix. You're also paying attention to some, to the terms. Yes. So, all right. So yes. let's see what happens. All right. So you want to try? Go ahead and try. All right. So this is our first row. Mm -hmm. So it's four so multiplied. So you, you want to circle off our row? Yes. So, so let's mark off our row for now. And, and our that's column. The column. Beautiful. All right. So four multiplied by three. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And then I have a five here. Yes. Five multiplied by... Oops. W where's the rest of my column? We don't have enough elements. So what do I do? We have a problem. This can't work. Can't work. Can't work. Can't work at all. No. Oh my. So, 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 so I'm getting from this term that if I have one, two, three, four elements, elements in that row. In my row here, I need to have four, four elements, elements in, in a column in order to make the multiplication for it to be possible any possible. at all exactly ah. makes sense it makes does sense. Oh, it does yeah i feel i feel good mm. so we're noticing that row one in the first matrix has four, four elements. elements while column one in the second matrix only has one element has only one element there's a word that we use you know to talk about compatibility they're not compatible not compatible People used to think that is only relationship. Yeah, but, but in yeah. math, these <laughs> matrix, these matrices are not <laughs> compatible. not compatible to be multiplied in that arrangement. In, you can't just leave it and say right. they're not compatible, but it's in true. that arrangement. Right. Because we would have used them earlier where we had A first. A being the multiplier. Right. And B being the multiplicand. Multi mm -hmm. And it worked. It did. So they are not compatible to be multiplied in this in arrangement. That arrangement. So it means, therefore, that we can do some testing. All right. Yeah, so when you're multiplying matrices, you can test for compatibility. Yes, they should have one of those for relationships. Ah, <laughs> a lot okay. of things would happen. Wouldn't happen. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the number of elements, and th this is interesting, and I want our students to really zoom in on this piece of information because it's very, very important. So the number of elements, term in the rows of a matrix can be determined by examining the number of columns in the same matrix. In that same matrix. Okay. So I'm going to bring up an example, but well, let's look I at also this. want to look at All this right. one. So initially we had said that this is a two, this is oh, a, sorry, three a three by, by four. four. <clears throat> So what are you t telling All me? All right, so based on what it says here, the number of elements in the row... So we have three rows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, ...is determined by how the, many elements... The, the number examine of, the number of columns. of columns. That will tell us how many elements. So if this is a three by four, we're saying in each of these three rows... We have? We have four terms. Or four are elements. We, right. elements. Right. Are we seeing that coming out in the matrix? Well, if we look at this row, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. Beautiful. And, and if you look and at the this number row, of terms coincide with how many columns there were. Most not? definitely. So yes. I think we're, we're on to something here. So let's look at another example. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at a two by three matrix. Based on what we just said, we're saying this matrix has two, two rows, rows three, three columns. columns. So in other words, we have two rows with three, three elements, elements in each row. That's right. Three elements in each row. Let's see if that matches what we're saying. All right. Mm -hmm. So two, two rows, rows, one, two, three elements. elements in each row. Correct. All right. Great. Beautiful. So this three is important. Three elements are in each row. row. So since we're doing row by column when we're multiplying it, we need to pay attention. That for that first matrix, I need to pay attention to the to number this of number elements. when I write the order. Yes. So if I have a two by three matrix as the multiplier, meaning it appears at the front. Right. I need to pay attention to how the many number columns are there. Yes. Because it tells me how much term is in, in each row. row. Yes. Sense. All right. I hope they get that, you know, because it's critical. You know, let's look at this <clears throat> other part. The number of elements in the column term mm -hmm. of a matrix can be determined by examining the number of rows in that same matrix. Hmm. So, you think they got it? Say it again. The number of elements in the columns of a matrix mm -hmm matrix can be determined by examining the number of rows in the same matrix 
Yes. So let us look back at this uh, this three by four right matrix. Yes, we would have mm -hmm. said three by four matrix. So let us look back at this one and see if we can figure out what it is that they're saying on this slide. So initially we were looking at the number of elements in the rows. Yes. So now no. we want to look at the number of elements in, in the, the column. column. Right. So we have three. It's a three by four matrix. Right. It tells us that we have three rows. Yes. And we have four columns. So since we're focusing so within now, the column now, right. we have Three, three terms. El three elements or, or elements. three terms. Let's check if that really All works. All right, so we have one, two, three, four. Let's check. So the so, first column. Yes, so one. mark it off. I can mark it. All right, so this is our so first column. Mm -hmm. And we have one, two, three elements. Okay, so let's see if we can do that for this All one. All right, so we have it this now. Let's name this matrix. So it is a so one, it's a one by, by three, three That's matrix. the order of that Good. matrix. Good. So we have three columns, and in each column, we have one term. Ah, so you know, I'm realizing the issue. So this four mm -hmm. told me there were four terms in the row. We would have said that earlier. Right, if we're looking at the rows, right? Yes. And here, this is saying to me that there is only one term in, in the column. The column. So that's why it never did that work. Can't work because we have four elements over here. That's and we only have it, one element over there. That's why it wasn't working. That's so right. Let us check what's happening here. So we, of course we need a second example just to concretize this. Mm -hmm. So let's say we have a two by three matrix. Again, we're saying that for this matrix, it has three columns, but in each column, it only has two terms. It only has two terms. So my question to your time is, if I had these matrices and I was going to multiply them a two by three and another two by three. You think it could work? Well, we did say our yeah, we did say that it is row multiplied by column. Mm -hmm. For the first matrix matrix we have, we have two rows, yes, but each of those rows have, have three, three elements. Yes. That means I'm gonna need three elements in the column over there. Yes. But according to that, it tells me that it has three columns, but in each of those columns I only, only have two, two terms. So we're one term short. We're one or term one short. Element short. Oh my so goodness. It's not gonna work. Interesting stuff. I like mm. this. So basically these two matrices are not compatible to be multiplied with each other. All right, so we're moving on. We want to test now the compatibility. So let's uh, see what's happening with these <coughs> two matrices. All right. So we have a two, a two by, by one, one and a two, two by, by two. two. You tell me, because you're the bright spark here. Mm. Tell me, can we multiply these matrices in this particular arrangement yeah let's see well, let's 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 find out some things first mm -hmm. so for the first matrix we have we have two rows and each of those will have one element mm -hmm. so that 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 means for my first row that i'm going to multiply i have one element mm -hmm. and i would hope to Which have one element over there as well uh-huh however the second matrix has two rows and each of those rows have two elements. Each column. Each column. Oh, we're looking at the column, column. now. Each, sorry, right. each, each, so each column of those columns has have two, two elements. elements. So we have a problem. Yeah, because so I only have one element so this in my row. Can't work for these no, two here. No. All right. So we can agree then. So my row has less elements than my column. All right. So these cannot be multiplied in that arrangement. No, I want to twist it a bit. All right. So you've changed the position. Of the matrix. Yes. The matrices. I'm glad that you would have seen that it's the same matrices. Yes. All I've done is to switch, switch. the positions who of the Who is the, the multiplier and who is the Multiplicand, okay. right. So, let's see what we have here now. Oopsie. Yes. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. We gave oh, a little clue. Yes. <laughs> so, this is a two by two. Right. And this is a, a two, two by, by one. one. All right, and we would have looked at these numbers earlier and we know that they have to right. be the same so that we can actually have elements that can work with, with each other. Right. So we have so the two elements, elements in the first row. Two elements in the first, row. Um, in the rows of the first matrix. Right. And we have two elements in, in the, the column, column of, of the, the second, second matrix. matrix. So we know that these can be multiplied in that arrangement. Mm -hmm. But here's my question to you. Can you state the order or the dimension of the resulting matrix? 
Mm. We kind of touch on something yeah, earlier. We, we, we saw something, but we say as mathematicians, we can't, you know, but say something is a rule. Until we try to. And just one example, not mm. sure. Really can't say it on two either, but for the purposes of this, mm. Let we, us will, see. we will see what's happening. So, we would have. Earlier, we would have noticed something with these two numbers out here. Right. So from what we saw earlier, we, we are assuming that the result of this matrix we'll could be a, be a two, two by, by one. one. Could be. Could be. Let's check. So I think better than negative checking. one five. Uh huh. Two three. Six seven for the. All right, and we said mm -hmm. it's row by, by column. column. So All right. We have so negative, negative one. one times six, six. Us, negative six all right and five and times. we're still in row one mm -hmm. still in the same column so my answer must be right in here with my one. negative six all right row one column one so five times seven is 35 okay someone knows their timetable mm -hmm. so we are moving now to row, row two. two and we're using it to multiply column, column one. one so two times six 12 or 2 multiply by 6, six gives us 12 and 3 multiply 7 looks like 21 okay hmm so we have negative 6 plus 35 which gives us um 29 okay you are on the ball so we have 29 <laughs> and 33 3 and what's the order of this matrix tam well we look like we have 2 by one it's a two by one was that what we said a two by one beautiful so we found several patterns coming out today well we did we have so, so working the few matrices that we have been working. yes <laughs> so we notice here that we can actually use the order of the matrix that we're multiplying and it gives us so much information yes it does one it tells us if they are compatible to be multiplied in that arrangement yes and it gives us the and clue. it also gives us a clue as to what the result order of the resulting matrix, matrix should look like should look like so this result would be a two by, by one, one interesting times so let's move on so we want to examine we have matrix c one two three four and matrix d eight seven eight, six, seven, five. six five <clears throat> and we want to see if we are able to find the result of C, D. So it's, it's just come up, sir. All right, so mm. C, D. Now, you would have noticed I have C in red, and, and you'll see why in a right. few minutes. So we have a two by two matrix. Multiplying, multiplying another two by two matrix. Now, let's see if we can get some things going here. All right, so what are the terms? What are the elements that I'm going to be multiplying with each other? We said it's row by by column, column. no this Let's board space on the board. is a little small we can do one of them and then we can pick it up on the board and then we'll pick up on the slide yes most right. so let's just do one on the board so we have what give me the first matrix one again. two three four and eight seven six five all, all right. right and it's row by column so it's row <laughs> by column right all right, so our first term, our first multiplication, 1 times 8 All gives right, us... so 1 will multiply 8, and that gives us 8. And then 2, two will multiply, multiply six, 6, which gives us 12. 12. All right. And then 1. I, why is there a comma here? Oh, it's I'm not so coordinate. sorry. Oh, my um, goodness. The, yes. <laughs> and then we have 1... Um, by 7. By 7, which is 7... And two, two will multiply five. five, which will give us ten. Mm -hmm. Go to stick a pin. So remember we said when we did row one, column, column one, one, results go at row, row one, one column, column one. one. Now we just did row, row one, one, column, column two. two, results go where? Row, row one, one, column, column two. two. Beautiful. So now we're at? All right, row two. Row two. Well. And column one now. Let's <laughs> yes. do column one first. So... 3 multiplied, multiplied by eight. 8 gives us 18. 24. Oh, Lord. Four. You sure? Can I just okay. pick you up in a boy at All table. right. All right. 4 times 6. Mm -hmm. 
24 again. Yes. All right. And then 3 times 7. So 3 multiply 7 will give us 21. And, and four, 4 multiply 5 will give us 20. 20. Again, note the position. Row 1, column. Row 2, sorry. Column, column one, 1. Row 2, two column, column one. 1. Row 2, column 2. Row, row two, 2, column 2. two. So we need to make so that. So we'll right. combine our, our values. So that's 20. 20 17. 48. 41. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So in the interest of space, so right. I want to take us back over here now. We would now look at DC. So we have changed the position of, of the, the matrix. matrix again. Right. So now matrix... 8, 7, 6, 5 is a multiplier, and 1, 2, 3, 4 is a multiplicand. So we want to see, because we notice that they are both 2 by 2s. Mm. So the values are the same. Yes, yeah, so we can actually find so they're elements. Compatible. They are compatible yes. in this arrangement yes, as well. They are. All right. They are. So let's see. In the interest of space on the board and time, we would have done same some thing. of it. All Row right. One. So Again, row one, column, by column one, one, and the results. Mm -hmm. row, row one, one by column, column two, results, same results position. There. Row, row two, two column, column one. one. Yes. And row, row two, two, column, column two. two. Same there. All combine right. the results, combine so the values. We combine those. And Look we at get that, Karima. 29, 44, 21, 32. Did we make a mistake? I'm wondering. Did we add that properly? Did we did we do that calculation? I well? think we did it fine. We did. Yes, but we're noticing something interesting here. Because same two matrix. Yes. All we did was to change the arrangement. And we these. have our two resultant matrix is Two by two, but two are the, the elements in the matrix? They're not the same. They're not the same. So what conclusion do you think we can draw, Tom? Oh, well, we can definitely say that multiplying CD is not the same as multiplying DC. Well, we can certainly say that the results are not equal. They're not. And so we can conclude that matrices multiplication is not commutative. commutative. That's a very important point. But you know, I wanted to ask... I know we have a little bit of time. This lesson is so interesting. Time mm -hmm. is just like running away. But I want to ask, because I noticed that this was a square matrix, yes. a two by two. And, and that was, was a square matrix. Right, and we noticed right. that the order, though it gave us different results, we found the that elements. They, they could be multiplied in either arrangement. Right. Is it only square matrix that Let's that test our theory. So, so, so put a, a, a two by one for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. give me a, a one by two. A one by two. So you don't have to make oh. it so big. <laughs> it's a little bracket, man. <laughs> Picking up the space. All right. And I'd prefer if you... Oh, not use not this? Not give me All a right similar then. term from All you. right. Let's In go case we're going to work it. Let's see go what's on. happening. So I want you to oh, write, the, the, right, write the order for me. So that's a two by one. Mm, this and this is a one by... So based on what we would have learned earlier... We can pay attention to the ordering. All right, so we can look here and we can see that this multiplication is possible. Yes, they are compatible in this arrangement. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the result. So the result will give us a two by two. Hmm. These are not square matrix. So let's no. let's let's flip the order, the, the, right. the, the arrangement. So let's just change how we yes. put it. So, so put we have the four or five. Four or five. That look like four Yeah, that look like I just saw it. Okay. <laughs> and then we have two. Three. All right, please put the, the right, order so this is of our the matrix. One by two, and this is our two by one. Hmm. Look so at that. I'm looking here. That so they're still compatible. Still compatible. Mm -hmm. and, and But the result now is a one by one. So they don't have to be square matrix. To be able to be multiplied, to be multiplied in multiplied. different order. But what we can say, though, is that the result there, it, it's, it's going won't to be, be the same. Right. right won't be the so same. they will be compatible. They may. Outside, they may be compatible may. outside of a square matrix. Right, they may. Okay. They don't have to because they remember don't. our first example, right? right you so are. we have to point that out. All right, so let's practice multiplication of matrices. All right, so we are bringing up two matrices on the board. Not sure mm -hmm. what's happening with my click. Nothing beats manual. And we may have to come out of that. So we have our matrix, one, okay. zero. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Let's just go back to the current slide. 
All right, so we have our matrix one, zero, zero, one, and it's multiplying the pass here already. I know, right? Pass okay, here. so we're gonna look at, let's just use, oh. All right. All right, don't, 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 don't click. Let me see if we can just get through. Okay, so we have a non-responsive. So let's do, s it's running, it's running. It's All coming? Right, so, yeah. Okay, awesome. All right, so here we go. Boy, mm -hmm. this technology thing. All okay. right, so we have a one, zero, uh -huh. zero, one. That's the first matrix, one, zero, zero, one. Uh -huh. And the second matrix is negative one, five, six, three. There you go. So again, I want you to perform this multiplication mm -hmm. on the board. Okay. And then we will compare with something that we have on the slide. All right, so remember, it's your row. So let's erase this yeah. section. My column. And we would have been this. So we have now one mm -hmm. times negative one, which okay. will give us negative, negative one. one, zero times six, which will give us mm, zero. zero. All right, so mm -hmm. let's come over to column two. So one times five, mm -hmm. which is five. five, zero times three, which is? Usually zero. Okay. <laughs> Then let's go to row two. Uh huh. So we're in row column two. Column one. Column zero one. times negative one. Zero. Yes. And one times six. Is six. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Zero times five. Is zero. And one times three. Is three. All right. So give me that resulting matrix. And down. we would have negative one. Mm -hmm. We would have five. I think you're missing an equal here since oh. we're putting the results. And this is six. And this is three. Is it, yeah, am I right? Yes, you okay. are right. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it because I'm noticing that this oh, looks the same as this. Yes. Mm. So what does it say about this? Well, we would normally learn that whenever you multiply something by its, by a not, it, it, it's, it's it, the identity, ah, the what identity, happened? you get the, the, the value the, is unchanged. Yeah. So the matrix remained. So, so we can say then that this, is there is the the ident two by two identity matrix for that two by two matrix? Yeah, for multiplication. For multiplication. Yeah, that's important. There you go. All right, so one zero zero one is the two by two identity matrix for multiplication. Important point. So I'm going to skim through because I want now to focus our viewers' attention on the other side of this slide. Mm -hmm. So. As we have been exploring this morning, we're changing the, the positions the, yeah, of the, the multiplier and the multiplicand. Mm -hmm. So we're changing it again. So let's see what happens. So in the interest of time, I'm going to bring up the calculation. The calculation on screen. All right. So look at that. We notice in the matrix this is unchanged. But I thought that when we, 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 we change the arrangement, we would get a different answer. Isn't that what we've been saying? Well, you know, it looks like something special about that matrix there. Something now. special about that identity. That identity matrix looks like it. Yeah. It, it's, it's special. It's special. It's yes. special. As a matter of fact, it's the only time you that can. we can change the position or the arrangement. Of the matrix. Of the, of matrix. the matrices. Yes. And we get the same Result. result. Special one, this it one, is. yeah. This identity is quite special. All right, so, so the position of the two by two identity matrix did not affect the, the results. results. Very important. So, Tam, I think we would have learned a lot today. I Ooh. think so too. So let's see if we can apply what we've learned. Apply so far. what we've learned. We have a few minutes. Sure. So let's see how quickly we can do this. So we can't leave without a C set question. So L and N are two matrices where L is equal to 3, 2, 1, 4. And, and N, N is, is equal to <coughs> negative 1, 3, 0, 2. And we're asked to evaluate L minus subtract. or subtract, sorry. N squared. So, hmm. Interesting. So, so first of all, evaluate. They just mean work it out. Oh, give, so give us a value. Calculate. Oh, yeah, oh, right, just, just right. calculate. So, so, so. I'm seeing something here though, because how do I, wh wh what do I do first? Do I subtract? Do I find this? Remember, square? Math, do I? math is not taught in a box. So remember, we know about order of operations. Right. So you have L subtract N squared. Okay. What do you know that you're supposed to do? All right, first. so I need to do N squared. Perfect. And N squared means N multiplied times by N. N. All right. 
right, so let's see if we can see that. So let's write that matrix representing N. All right, so we have our matrix. So let's see negative. how this multiplication is done. Right. All right, and so again, we have negative 1 times negative 1, which will give us mm -hmm. positive 1. 3 times 0, Excuse 0. Us. Negative 1 times 3, negative 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Correct. We move down to... Row two. Row two. Mm -hmm. And we're going again. Zero times negative one. Zero. zero. Two times zero. 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 Zero times three. Zero. And two times two. Four. Four. Let's see if we can get an answer so here. So n square is one, one three, three zero, zero four. Four. But we're not finished because they asked us to subtract, right? That value from? From L. L. And we would have learned subtraction a few lessons before. Right. So we're basically doing our regular thing. Just take our elements that are in the same positions mm -hmm. and From subtract. The, and we would have much. done this in previous lessons. Right. So and let's see what our result is. 2, negative 1, 1, 0. All right. And so we are leaving this question on screen for our viewers. Be sure to work it out. Submit your answers to Television Jamaica. And when we come back next week for math, you will find the answer to this question so we're going to just quickly <coughs> summarize please check the facebook page you will find the question there as well and we will quickly summarize so we can tell tom if two matrices can be multiplied by each other by examining their order or dimension or dimension mm -hmm. we can check the order of the matrices we look at those values the inner values right, right? that's coming on screen and, and they will tell us if, if they are compatible. compatible and the outer Values right. on screen will tell us uh, the result of the the order of the resulting matrices. Correct. We know that matrix multiplication is not commutative, commutative unless it is the identity, identity matrix. matrix. All right, and so we end here for today. That's all for today. We are now one step closer to understanding the multiplication of matrices. That Thank you for be tuning in.